we split data in uh, sometimes two or more groups to do some analysis using import data set i will read the file so name of the file is vehicle now one thing you'll notice is when you are reading any file there is an option of choosing heading as yes or no so if your data file already has titles or headings then we should say heading yes if there are no titles in original data then if you say no what it will do is it will assign variable names like v1 v2 v3 and so on but if you already have some titles like vehicle fm or mileage then this may create error while doing analysis if you already have a heading say yes and then import data so again 1624 1624 observations are read and there are seven variables so those uh, are listed here so again i will only deal with the uh, three quantitative variables so i will try to predict uh, labor cost lc by using independent variables mileage and labor hours so i will cross this uh, because it is already read so it is going to be there anyway let us see what we have so if i look at like first few rows i can use head command and the name of the file is this vehicle so i will use that vehicle and run this line and you can see first six uh, records are indicated i'm going to split data set into training and let's say i will use 80 percent of the data for training and into validation remaining 20 percent so because i have a hash sign here even if i run this line it will just repeat it so it is just a comment so now to write the command i will give some name like i and d independent so i'm taking independent samples of size 2 one i will name as training other one is validation so i'm using a command sample and we are going to take a sample of size 2 so i am putting 2 there and then i say number of rows so i am using vehicle data and for this purpose uh, you can also include replace equals true and probability equals c and then within brackets i can say 0 0.8 for 80 percent and 0 0.2 for 20 percent so one sample will be 80 percent out of the total out of uh, 1624 observations and remaining 20% 20, 20 will belong to second sample I can run this command here and uh, in the next two lines let me call this as T data so this is uh, the name given by me we can give any name we like I'm using T data T standing for training and what I'm going to assign to this is vehicle then you say i and d first sample which is like 80 percent we are calling t data and put comma so these are rows and then if you want to include everything so after comma you don't have to put anything and then v data and now in that independent sample or i and d this is the second sample so i would say two comma that's it so if you run these two lines you'll see on the right that t data has 1281 observations out of this total and v data is 343 out of the total so roughly or approximately split is 80 20. it may not be exactly 18 20 it depends on how much data you have so it is approximate now if you simply want to look at uh, what your t data contains so i can say head t data so if you run that you'll see what we have is uh, the first observation is included in the training data set and then you have fourth observation so second and third obviously have gone to validation data so one four five six seven eight and so on you can also look at first few rows of v data so 
So in validation data set, whatever you don't have in uh, T data is there in V data. So 2, 3, 11 and so on. So these are first few observations or records from that data. The purpose of splitting or partitioning data into two is very simple. We develop any model, like in this case multiple regression model, based on training data set. And then we can test that model using V data and see how the model is doing. So V data or validation data contains data not seen by the model. So the model was built based on training data set and validation data will validate how good or bad the model is. If the predictions are good, that means the model is doing fine. Let's uh, develop a, a regression model again. We'll use that name to store results. And our linear model labor cost is the thing we are predicting. So this is the dependent variable as a function of we are saying mileage plus labor hours, LH. So we are using only two variables to keep things simple. And then the data we are using for uh, developing this model is T data. So we will use only T data. So as soon as we run the line, uh, this uh, line, so that model is there now. You can see the model using maybe summary of uh, results and see what we have. You can see that uh, labor hours is highly significant, like three stars. So it is highly statistically significant. And R square is 95%, 0.95. So there's 95% contribution towards the total variability uh, based on the model. And uh, some other things uh, you can look at, for example, if you type results with a dollar sign and then say coefficients. So what it will do is, see these are the coefficients here. For the intercept, it is 7.597 and then for mileage, there is a value and labor hours, there is a value. And then you have standard errors and T values and probabilities. If you need to look at only coefficients, you can use this line and run and it will give you intercept mileage and labor hour coefficients. You can get the same thing by saying C O E F for coefficients and results. So both uh, do exactly same thing. Now if you have a model, we can do prediction. So let's say we'll store results of prediction in P R E D. So we are naming that variable as P R E D and we use predict, so we have the results based on the training data set that we developed. So results contain all the coefficients and all that. So using those results and the model from training data, we are going to make prediction for V data. This PRED has the predictions. If you want to look at what it contains, you can say head. Remember. In V data, you have 343 observations. A prediction that was done for V data is for all 343. It will predict what is the labor cost for each vehicle failure in V data set. If you just want to look at uh, first few, you can say head P R E D. So you can see it shows you predicted cost, labor cost for second failure, third failure, 11, 21, and so on. If you want to compare this with the, the actual uh, values, which are there in your V data, so you can see labor cost for the second failure was 233.03, dollars and three cents. Whereas your model has predicted $178 and about four cents. For the third failure, actual cost was $325 approximately. And this one says 305. So it is off by about $20. For the 11th failure, 260 roughly. And this is 255. So off by about $5. And uh, in fact, in the first three cases, 
all three times uh, it is under predicting by some dollars for 21st failure actual cost was 182 in this case now it is over predicting by about eight dollars so it is this model is not going to be perfect all the time obviously there will be some variations around it and 170 versus 194 so more variability 347 versus 373 so you can see that how the model is working by looking and comparing some of the values here so never expect any analysis to give you best model in the beginning you have to do go back and forth so many times before you come with the final best model